Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about a few crystals that I use in my daily practices. Um, do you need to buy crystals? Absolutely not. Do you are connected to what you are connected to? You can be connected to a stone, you can be connected to trees, the wood from the trees. I'm very connected to birch trees, um, to aspen trees. I love trees in general. They're, I actually use their tree bark in my Wiccan practices. Um, only specific ones though. Uh, the crystals I use in my daily life because they work with my chakras. They are implemented into my daily life for that purpose and I'm very just very in general just very connected to crystals period. Um, they're very good to have if you, you know, some can be pricey, some not, but do you need them? Absolutely not. I also am going to be talking about another form of, um, another form of contact for private readings now I said I was going to be doing. I am making a Facebook, which is already up and active. I just did it last night for this purpose. Um, so you may follow this page. You may post pictures once you're accepted and vetted through. Um, you may post pictures of the missing. Um, I also put it up as well so I can share my um, paranormal pictures with you guys. I did say I was going to do that. Um, but the page is more or less to keep missing in the media. It's for private readings through Messenger. Um, just anything wonderful for this aspect. There is to be no drama on this page. I will delete and block. There's no hate speeches, no ra no, no racism, nothing to that extent. If you are not here to help aid in the missing, do not, under any circumstances, friend request this page. It is for personal readings as well. So the people that asked for personal readings a while back, this is this is your chance to be able to follow the page. I also am going to be doing tarot card readings on this page as well as, like I said, private readings. Um, so that is the main focus for today. Uh, I really wanna get this video done so I can start uh, as well as moving forward to just, just being more active, you know, because the readings are great, but I also want to keep the pictures up of the missing. Now I put Kira Cole's picture on there and I put Savannah Spurlock's uh, picture on there. Um, I will be doing uh, local videos and placing them on there so you guys are able to see what it is that I do when I walk a home, walk the land, uh, just anything that's incorporated that I do in my workings is going to be on that page. Um, just so we're clear, if you come with ill intent, like I said, I will pick that up because I've already, I already have knowledge of exactly of how, about how many people are on my page now on YouTube that are not who they say they are. Um, I just, I just, I just keep you on there just so you're able to, you know, keep up. So, okay. So the first thing we're going to be talking about today are these crystals. Am I doing them all? No, I'm going to be doing, uh, the Fluorinite crystal. This is a Shiva stone. This is a this is a talisman for me. This is a very I've had this for years, and it's just when I hold it, I just feel because of how I am. I just feel the intention of the stone, and I'm very connected with it. It just works with all of my chakras. This is a good one to have. Now this one right here, I gift to my sister whenever I get one. Um, I can already feel that it, it's burning my skin. I don't know why, I never, I never understood. Um, a wonderful, um, a wonderful witch, her name is uh, White Raven. Uh, you know, I've just assumed that, you know, it's not something that I can work with in general. It's not something that goes with my aura. Even though this is selenite stick, it's one of the best that you can get. I can feel my palm burning right now over it. And it's just, I gift these to my sister. She works really well with them. So this is another one I'm going to be passing down to her. You can place crystals through your house in like a pattern of like, uh, 
in all four corners of your house. It can bring such positive energy. It, it, it can help with negative energy. It can cleanse. It can do, just do so many wonderful things. Um, so the feeling of that, it burns me right now. Um, but that is a selenite wand. Selenite wands are, are very soft. They do not need to be clean, cleaned in any way. They are not to be put in water. Um, they're just very good to have. It's just for some reason, I cannot touch them in any way. It actually makes my bones hurt in my body. So that is one. Now the fluorinite crystal, I connect really good with. This is because greens and the purples and just, those are my colors. Those are what I'm connected to. So it brings goodness into my, it, it, and it's very good for a lot of purposes. It's very good with um, psychic workings. It's very good with cleansing your aura. It's very good with your heart chakra. Um, it's it is very uh, peaceful, it invites peaceful vibes into your space. Um, Hold on, I'm just I'm just trying to remember <laughs> because I'm trying not to miss anything here. It just dispels negative energy. It's just so good to have. It it, inf it just infuses tranquility into your life. It's just really great. You know, it it's just it, it just inspires peace into your life. Um, hold you can hold this. This is just a very beautiful piece. It helps with visualization and your psychic workings. It helps with, you know, your third eye chakra. It's just really amazing to have. Um, to cleanse it, now you can you could put it in a healthy house plant. You can you can put this in a healthy house plant. It actually crystals can actually help your your um, plants grow. Very healthy. Um, you can leave that there for 24 hours. It'll be great. Um, you can leave it outside under the full moon for four hours. I like to leave mine under there for three. I just move it in the daytime. Um, you can put it in the sage smoke. Now, how you would activate your crystal here, okay? Activating your crystals is, is really about how you want to choose how to activate it. What I do is I sit with my crystals and I meditate with them and I tell myself, what is this going to bring into my life? What forces is it going to work with with me? Um, you just really say your intention to what you want this, the crystal to be for, but I like to meditate with it instead and give it that equal opportunity to work with me, not for me. Um, It's just a really good, it really just honest, really good thing to have. It works so many good things. Now this is a citrine, a citrine wand. If you hear noise in the background, it's the gentleman outside getting rid of the, you know, leaves and the waste and stuff. Now this is a citrine wand. Citrine is amazing. It works in so many different ways. It brings abundance into your life. And, and, and energetic wise, it helps with, gosh. See, I work magically as well with crystals. I don't just use the crystals for my aura. I actually incorporate into them into my Wiccan spells as well. So those are actually there for that reason too. But it's abundance. It's good luck. It brings, you know, if you want, if you want to do um, wake up in the morning, Take a wand of some sort or whatever it is you're choosing of, of uh, citrine and make a lucky charm, make a mojo bag. You can literally, your intention with it is literally very, very, everybody has gifts and magic within them. And when you place the intention into something, you actually can change the outcome of things. It's very easy to do, but you have to have the will to want to do it. But as well as this is just a really good crystal to have to bring happiness and joy and abundance into your life. This is just something that it helps within to bring without. As in, it can 
bring abundance into your life to bring a positive effect. Now, which one do I want to do next? Aha. Now, this little guy is rare. Okay. This in itself. Okay. I, I am like... Yes, this is the rare one, but you know what? I'm feeling pulled to this one for a reason. This little guy here. Now, this looks like a clear quartz crystal almost, but if you can see here the rays in there, there are little rays in coloring, okay? This is called an angel aura quartz point, okay? These are very good to work with. And I'll tell you why, because these actually help with me with, you know, when I'm around spiritual contact and I know that I have to do like a murder case, these help me balance myself some and I don't get the effects so badly, okay? This like creates a bubble of peace around you, tranquility, positive energy around you to help you really stress. And it's very uplifting, spiritual energy, you know, it helps bring peace to your aura and just health and it it literally just makes me feel um, like I have a guardian protecting me when I have this type of crystal around me because you literally can you get more um, how do you say it Synchron synchronicity signs from guardians from angels you know and what I mean by that is pay attention to your signs like the animals that are around you what they re represent um, are you having feathers come around you onto the ground? You know, are you, are you, are you feeling a past loved one around that you were very close with? Is, is there a song that pops up on the radio when you carry these around um, that reminded you of somebody from before? Everything is not without meaning. Everything has a meaning. And crystals help amplify that meaning. Um, it's just a very good, all these stones are just very, very, very good to have. Each stone I, I incorporate differently. Um, if you, if you noticed, I'm very, quartz, quartz is the universal crystal. And you can use these, this crystal above all of these crystals. This is the universal crystal. You literally can use this crystal all over, all over these instead. Um, these are very good to have, but this in general, I'm very connected to be just because I noticed, you know, if I'm feeling a little bit out of sorts and down a little bit, and it's like I hold this, it kind of brings me back towards into myself. It's just really good to have. Um, one more to do here. I'm trying to think of which one I want to do. Hmm. Spirit Quartz. Okay, so this little, this sucker, okay. Do I recommend you getting it? You can if you want to, but they're pricey. I paid about 50 bucks or so for this. It's very heavy in weight. Okay. This is really good for an emotional detox. It really helps ascend the heights of the feeling you weigh, that are weighing you down. It cleanses and replaces with joy and love. And in spirit quartz is good to have also just to incorporate in the clear quartz crystals area and it's also good with this one as well but that is my video for my crystals today so now i want to get back to the facebook that i made and the name of it okay now again i will get back to i am i going to answer any friend requests today possibly but like i said i need to make sure this facebook is not going to be overtaken by any nonsense, any nonsense whatsoever. I will, like I said, I want no hate. 
I want no bigotry. I want I just nothing nasty, rotten, or cruel. If you really want a private reading, you may friend request the page. Private reading I could do through Messenger if that's what you're comfortable with. Um, like I said, we can post pictures of the missing on there um, and keep them just active in the media. That's what we want to do. We want to keep people going. And, and you may share your paranormal experiences on there. You may, um, I'm going to be sharing some pictures of my personal backyard and what you are going to see in my backyard and how active it is at nighttime. You will see pictures of horses. You will see pictures of wolves. You're going to see something that might scare you. You're going to see just many different things. And now that I have this Facebook, I can also show you pictures of things that are around me as well on a daily basis. Um, but this is also just a vetting process too, because YouTube, you can get away with, you know, you know, making that fake page and you really can't have, but Facebook is a more clear and more accent way of to getting, like I spoke of cold readings. Do I really want to accept this person? All I have to do is put your name on a piece of paper. Even if it is fake, I will get a name of, of, who is connected to, who are the people around them. So the point of the, the Facebook page is to help people not to gain mistrust. Absolutely not will I, will I tolerate that. So it's called Roses Readings. Now, Roses as in Rose with an apostrophe S and readings. You may, like I said, friend request me from right after this video. Um, will I answer any messages today? I don't know. Um, so I'm going to be incorporating that today and I hope everybody's doing well and I hope you enjoyed this video because now I have other things to do and get done. Um, I hope everybody understands what I mean about no, just the rules of the page, period. Because if I see any hate or anything like that on the page, it comes down. Period. I can't make that, I can't stress that enough to people because the reason why I put it up is to help more than just doing the videos. I want to have a more close contact with you. I want to have a more, um, I want to have more period I'll be doing lives on there as well um, this is just an easier way to have a more close-knit privateness to us to our connection instead of YouTube where everybody has access you also have a more private um, way about us being able to contact each other okay so thank you everybody for watching I'll be waiting for the notifications on the page please do go ahead if you choose to if you do not that is okay. You may stick with the YouTube page as well. So this is my video. I hope you all have a blessed day and I will be waiting.